I have to add, okay. World map, not the US. Okay. So we're gonna be do okay, we'll be changing this to it won't be Republicans. What's uh and basically the rest. Okay. So if there is a if a war does break out, a world war, okay, it's even more than this. Cause this is what it's currently is right now. You know, this is what okay, we could include you as well, but Today, we go over all of Russia's allies and all of them, you know, yeah. So, let's just say there is a major war, so... NATO and the EU. Yes, the EU, which means Sweden will probably be dragged in as well. NATO and the EU. No, not you. Here... And we can include Australia and New Zealand as well. So basically, it's just two versus one. But people don't know, but what? Okay, we could, we'll have to include you as well, Prince Guyana. So, Russia does have allies. So, Azerbaijan. Which we were like, well, but Azerbaijan is not an ally of Russia. But very, very recently, Azerbaijan and, Al and Russia have cemented their alliance. Which, again... You know, both countries have basically cemented their alliance here. And Iran, obviously, uh, Kazakhstan. And of course, we have the big one, China and Pakistan. These are all countries in the world that do support Russia and are, and are basically friendly and, and allied to Russia. So, you know, all of these countries do support Russia. Of course, we also have Syria, Venezuela, well, which surprisingly still exists as a country. I think if Iran is at war, I think Saudi Arabia would probably side against Iran. And India would side against Pakistan, because that's how the world is. But Vietnam would probably be against. Okay, I'm going to put, you know, USA. So basically, these are on the same side as the USA. Uh, I think Vietnam, because Vietnam and China, people will be like, oh, but Vietnam is communist, so Vietnam will be on China's side. Okay, Vietnam has hated China for since for their hatred for China has gone gone back centuries. Okay, centuries. Okay, immediately after the Vietnam War is over, Vietnam and China is. Our alliance basically broke because Vietnam does not like China. People from Vietnam, people who live there, do not like China at all. Okay, they are basically. I wouldn't be surprised in the next decade or so they become another American ally because they do not like China at all. Okay, they are basically anti China. Of course, North Korea would of course declare war on the South and probably would lose. Without, you know, unless China intervenes, which they probably would. Because China, they actually want to keep North Korea around. Because it keeps, basically, a, it keeps them a country between them and America. Okay. You know, saving of them, they're trying to corner India. Which, again, which makes China kind of a hypocrite because they want to corner. Because they complain that they said that NATO cornered Russia. And that's why Russia's invaded Ukraine. But they want to corner India. You know, because, you know... Because they want to, because they turn Nepal on their side. I think Afghanistan would probably join on the side, but I don't really. I think these guys, because they're all right, all of these guys in the middle are all like Chinese allies. All of these guys in the middle are all like Chinese friends and Chinese allies. So these people in these in these countries over here would probably support Russia and China. And I think Nicaragua would probably support Russia and Cuba. And I don't know any other countries, probably Serbia, but Serbia would be surrounded by NATO. Again, Serbia is not a big country as well. And I don't know any other countries that are, but yeah, Pakistan, uh, China, and Azerbaijan, which again, they now. Our friends of us, and I mean, you know, Armenia is allies of us. I think you know, then it'll be George. George is basically cornered now. 
I don't know if I don't know if Armenia. I think Armenia would stay neutral because they don't like Azerbaijan. But Azerbaijan and Warsaw are basically becoming allies and close friends. Friends. I I but because Armenia is also a lot an ally as well. If people didn't know that, but yeah. I don't know. I think is oh yeah, Israel would be on the USA side. But yeah, all of these countries over here would be on, and of course India. But if that's it, you know. That's of course if China, of course, invades Taiwan and Pakistan, of course, starts the war against India. Then that would be a real big war because you know India and China and Pakistan are enemies. India and China are enemies. Asia is a very, is a continent, you know, full of countries that hate each other. You know, people like, you know, you have people who think that, oh, Asia is just China, Korea, and Japan. No, you have India here. You have these countries down here. But I don't know which way they would go. We have ASEAN, which will probably go against China. Because they do not like China's invasion of the South China Sea. Here. And... Yeah, but the war is currently... Let's clear. The war is currently... Okay, let's give it to Ukraine. Yeah, but the map currently works like this. Okay. You can't put the two countries... You can't put the countries here on, you know, Transistria because they don't exist according to this map. Yeah, not, not Moldova. But this is the current map right now. No other country has pledged to actually intervene in the war against Ukraine. I think if there is a war, it will be kind of like a proxy war. Like currently is going on. Um, Because a lot of countries have been saying weapons. But no countries have really sent any people to help fight in Ukraine. No one has really helped outside of Belarus helping Warsaw. Which again, Belarus is basically just Warsaw's like best friends. So basically they want to be... They want to help as well. So, yep, that's basically about... That's what would happen if World War III were broken out. This is the ending of the video. Goodbye.